take a couple of shots oh, okay. before you do that. We're gonna wait. Okay. All right. Cool. So, shall we go? This is the uh, Algal Flowway at Vim's, and what we're doing is uh, we're growing natural wild algae as a way of cleaning up uh, nutrient polluted water and also creating a feedstock that can be used to produce biofuel. What we're trying to do is make nature work for us, so to speak. It takes 30 seconds for the water to flow from one end down to the other end, so what you get at the other end is clean water that goes back into the river and a bunch of algae that once a week can be scraped off uh, and extracted for fuel. They will flow down the flowway, some of them will get caught in the the gaps in the screen, some will start to adhere to the screen, and once we have a community of algal cells that are adhered to the screen, then others, they'll, they'll start to multiply and others will attach also. These are samples that were collected from the flowway. The lipid production of our algae ranges from about 2 to 9 percent. These algae also have lipid compositions that are dominated by saturated and unsaturated fatty acids in the proportions that would be optimal for biofuel production. Instead of actually needing to fertilize the algae, we're using the algae to remove fertilizers that have been put in the waters by land-based crops. Uh, what we're trying to do is figure out how to transfer the, the onshore technology, these flowways here, figure out how to transfer that out in the open water. This is essentially engineering prototyping. I think that's, well, we scraped both of these, didn't we? I'm just pleased to see growth at this time of the year. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I think we need to. We need to harvest, but well, we can uh, take some samples. But I just don't want to harvest the whole thing. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be good. This is like more than five five grams per meter squared per day, probably. Just this stuff that you don't think is very much, you know. Oh well, it was so, more like that one last week. Uh, you could see these places where you had harvested. There was absolutely uh, nothing there. And like, uh -huh. what's the point of harvesting this? If you don't scrape it down, then it grows really fast. Yeah, get a film of this. <laughs> I'm gonna just scrape it up first. This is uh, yeah thicker than it was before. <laughs> this is good. Ah, we want like a factory. Well, man. I know, I know, but I'm telling you, this is more, more, more. This is good. What we saw in November makes it really greedy. <laughs> tell you. I see the, uh, the nutrient reduction and the fuel production as going hand in hand. We like to think of it as turning pollution into fuel. You harvest corn or soybeans once a year, generally, whereas you can, so you can harvest the algae every week in warm weather. And so uh, on a per time or per area basis, the productivity is much, much higher, 10, 100, sometimes even 1,000 times higher. The public, too, is really excited about this, particularly the opportunity to clean up the Chesapeake Bay or other waters that are polluted, but also the idea of having a locally based, sustainable, clean source of energy.